Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, all right. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's a party. All right, welcome back. It is 109 thewolfcom That's another behind the mic right over here. Look who it is. Who? Who? Lone Star. Oh. <laughs> who is it? Richie McDonald, man. Good to see you. Good to be seen. Back at it. Dean let's, Sam's out of here, buddy. Act like we can reach. Rich, oh, you pass it on. Oh my pass God! It on. It's it's a shake chain. How about that? <laughs> wow. And we're not even in prison. That's awesome. No, man. <laughs> so uh, stoked to have you guys here, man. Welcome, welcome back, man. It's great to be back. How how does it feel, by the way? Honestly, um, you know what? We're having the time of our lives right now. Uh, back in the studio. Uh, well, actually, first of all, twenty year anniversary since uh, Dean Sam's called uh, myself, Michael Britt, and Keith Rainwater and said, hey, I'm thinking about putting a band together. And uh, we said, are, are you nuts? And he said, no, well, I'm yes, really thinking about putting a band together. And 20 years later, you know, um, I, I took a little little break, but um, we're back together, uh, back in the studio recording what we feel is the best music of our careers. And we're pr producing it. We're writing the songs. And you know what? We're just having a lot of fun doing this this time around. And is it, uh, I mean, do, 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 do you come at it with kind of a different perspective when you when you take a couple of years off and you kind of look at it maybe from like a different angle? Does it? Uh, you know, I think I think uh, for the most part, um, I think we can all look at it. Not just myself, but we can all look at it. Is that we don't take it for granted. You know, um, we know the reality, uh, but we also know that. Um, we we still feel like that we have a lot to say, a lot to sing about, a lot uh, messages to get out to to the fans, and and just hopefully try to change the world with our music. How did you guys wind up coming back together? I mean, what, what what's the story there? You you you've been in touch. It was a phone call. You ran into each other at Sizzler. I mean, like what was? Come the, on, it's 2012. Man, texting. Hello. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's not that's not far from the truth. Uh, you know, I think uh, when I left four years ago, I kind of, you know, slowed down and do some things I wanted to do. And um, I think, you know, I kind of reached a point to where, um, you know, I think my wife was ready for me to, to leave the house, get back out of the road. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the truth. That's what she called um, me and said. <laughs> but I do remember one night, um, you know, I was talking to Lori about, I said, you know, I said, you never know. I said, maybe someday Lone Star, we'll get back together. We could have a, a reunion tour. And... Um, I think Keach was on Facebook one night, and I just kind of reached out to him and said, hey, man, um, I know things are going good with Cody right now, but if you ever reach a point you want to do something, you know, maybe something, who knows? Let's just sit down and talk about it. And um, I think Corey, our manager, had mentioned that um, it'd probably be a good idea that we sit down and get together and work things out, which there wasn't much to work out, you know? I'll tell you the interesting thing. This is when I knew, yeah, we have to do this. Um, we got together in, in my studio in Nashville, and um, I just sat down at the piano and started playing Everything's Changed, which was a, a big hit for us that Richie wrote. And uh, it's always been one of my favorite songs. I just started playing it. Well, then he starts singing, and Michael grabs a guitar off the wall, and he starts playing. Keach grabs a shaker and tambourine and just joins in, and then the chorus kicks in. We started singing the harmony together, and it was like, it came back together that quickly. It's organic. It, it is. Yeah. It's just one of those things. Um, I, I think individually, everybody in this band has a lot of talent. But um, I think collectively, when we're together, we feel like we're unbeatable. And uh, we feel like the countdown, the single is the tip of the iceberg of, of the culmination of all of our talents that come together. I mean, it's just, it's, 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 uh, it's just indescribable what, what it's like. We talked about the past just a second ago. T t take us back... 20 years ago how how do all you guys know each other and how did that all come about Dean well I uh, I guess we all kind of knew of each other in different bands because we're all from Texas and um, Michael and Keach and uh, Richie were in very successful bands in Texas I was in a bunch of stinker bands in Texas and um, but hey it's That's part of true. the it, it's true but it's okay you know I was in a band like Spur in the side. Yes, spur in the side. <laughs> pain in the uh, ass. Uh, no, 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 no. There's, I'm sorry. I can't say that. I can't say pain on radio. Right? It's, web. <laughs> it's on the web, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was in some interesting bands, and we never had quite the success that they did, but we all kind of knew of each other. And um, I finally moved uh, to Nashville, I, but before I did, I met Richie at some auditions for Opryland, which used to be a theme park in Nashville before they tore it down and turned it into a mall. And um, and uh, anyway, so I met him at these auditions, and 
my story of it, my version of it is different. I always say that, you know, I, I heard him sing, and after he sang, I introduced myself saying, wow, you're a great singer, good luck, and all that thing. But he says that we talked in the bathroom. We had it out in the bathroom. We we really did. I remember. Uh, did we wash our hands? Well, yeah, we washed our hands. Okay. But I, I'm just saying, <laughs> I remember. It's a door over here. <laughs> you have to have it out in the bathroom. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> but, there. Yeah. So, sometimes we remember things how we want to remember things. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we digress. Anyway, long story short, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's too late. But uh, basically, I ended up getting the part. Richie didn't. He moved to Nashville a year later, came out to the park, saw me in this show called Country Music USA. Um, we struck up a conversation, became friends. Uh, he had this really cool jet boat that we would hang out on. We were going to write songs, but we really ended up skiing. And, uh, <laughs> and then uh, we were going to do the duo thing for a little while. And, um, and then uh, I called him up one day and said, hey, I think if we had a band, um, don't worry, we're just on the web. Don't worry about it. Um, uh, just come on in and out of here. It's cool. Uh, but uh, said, hey, I think if we had a band, we could we could make some money. And uh, we were all doing odd jobs. I remember Richie coming in from mixing pig feed and stuff all day long with just stuff all over him in his overalls. And we were all doing some terrible jobs. And this was just our way out. Yeah. Lone Star, everybody. They're back. Richie McDonald, <laughs> Dean Sams. Countdown, July 16th, new album's out in October, guys. Thank you so much for coming by. Good Get to it. see you. Here, Dean, check that in. Hey. <laughs> Dude, awesome. Awesome.